be parents and curious minds. Are you eagerly waiting to find out if you're having a boy or a girl? Well, today we're diving into the fascinating world of fetal development and uncovering the real differences between boys and girls before they're born. So grab a comfy seat, and let's get started. Have you ever wondered why some pregnancies feel so different? Or why certain ultrasounds reveal distinct features? We're about to reveal the secrets behind the developmental journey of baby boys and baby girls, backed by science and sprinkled with some surprising facts. Stay tuned, because what you learn today might just blow your mind. 1. Early Development Let's start with the basics. In the very early stages of pregnancy, around 6-8 weeks, all embryos look pretty much the same. However, this is when the magic begins. Around this time, the presence or absence of the Y chromosome kicks off a series of events that will determine the baby's sex. If a Y chromosome is present, it triggers the development of male characteristics, while its absence leads to female characteristics. But what does this mean for the development of your little one? Let's take a closer look. 2. Hormonal Influences Hormones play a huge role in fetal development. For boys, the SRY gene on the Y chromosome starts producing testosterone around week 7. This hormone is responsible for developing male genitalia and other male-specific traits. Meanwhile, girls don't have this testosterone surge. Instead, their development continues along a different path, leading to the formation of female genitalia and reproductive organs. But these hormonal differences don't stop there, they also influence brain development. Three. Brain Development Did you know that male and female brains develop differently even before birth? Studies have shown that male brains tend to be larger in certain areas, like the amygdala, which is involved in processing emotions. On the other hand, female brains often have more connections between the left and right hemispheres. These differences could explain why boys and girls sometimes have different strengths and behaviors from a very young age. Fascinating, right? Four movement and activity levels. You might have heard that boys are more active in the womb. There's actually some truth to this. Research suggests that male fetuses tend to move around more than their female counterparts. This increased activity could be due to higher levels of testosterone. So if you're feeling those kicks and somersaults more often, it might just be a little boy in there. 5. Size and growth rates. Another interesting difference is in growth rates. On average, male fetuses grow slightly larger than female fetuses. This size difference often continues after birth, with boys generally being heavier and longer than girls at birth. However, remember that every baby is unique, and growth can vary widely regardless of gender. 6. Myths versus Facts Now, let's tackle some common myths. You've probably heard things like, carrying low means it's a boy, or, Craving salty foods means it's a boy. While these tales are fun, they're not backed by science. So, enjoy the guessing game, but take it with a grain of salt. So, whether you're expecting a bouncing baby boy or a graceful baby girl, remember that each journey is unique and special. Understanding these differences can make the experience even more exciting and memorable. Thanks for joining me on this fascinating exploration of fetal development. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more amazing content. And hey, drop a comment below, are you team boy or team girl? We'd love to hear your stories and guesses. See you next time.